So this is our title slide, which is a different color for different videos. It's a template that I edit on Inkscape, a program between Paint and Photoshop. A typical introduction is as follows. Oscillation simply means to move back and forth in a repetitive pattern around an equilibrium point. Oscillations can be found in a mass hanging on a spring, stringed instruments, a car trapped on a frictionless track between two bumpers, a speaker, the crystal oscillator in quartz watches, molecular vibrations, the release of insulin into the bloodstream, and an adolescent on a swing. The first process is just scripting out the video, figuring out what I'm going to draw and say. So I write on the back side of sheets where I've made errors while trying to film in the last video, and there are a lot of them. And I get the scripts checked out by Sarah, who gives comments and suggestions. I use OpenShot, a Linux-only free video editor that is under development. So I cut up sections of raw footage and match their speed to the speed of the sound clips. So there are a variety of built-in transitions, though I tend to use the simplest in the videos just to keep everything clean and looking sharp. The raw footage is shot here. I have a variety of fancy pens, some tape, extra white paper, a camera with camera stand and memory cards, this handy dandy ruler, some spare batteries for our LED lights, and an eraser. So the works. For sound clips, I use Audacity, which is a sound recording program also on Linux. I can remove the background noise really easily and normalize the recordings so that they're all the same volume. And here's a fun clip from our most recent video, which includes some stop motion animation and fun little pictures. Traveling waves move through a medium. Standing waves stay in the same place. Standing waves are caused by the interference of the reflected and initial waves in a medium. The decibel scale compares the intensity of sound to the threshold of human hearing. A cat purring comes in around 15 decibels. Bird song is about 44 decibels. Casual conversation is around 60 decibels. A car at highway speed from 25 meters away is about 70 decibels. An alarm clock ranks in at 80 decibels. Your average blender blends at 88 decibels. A lawnmower is around 100 decibels. A thunderclap is around 120 decibels. A jet takeoff at 25 meters is about 150 decibels and would cause permanent hearing damage. One feature of note are auxiliary videos, which are included as clickable links, and they pop up at the appropriate times during the main video. So if you click on one of these pop-ups, a new tab is opened, and when the auxiliary video finishes, you simply close the tab that the auxiliary video is in, and you are returned to the main video, which is paused exactly where you stopped, and you can keep watching it. So things that would go into auxiliary videos would be information that is specific to an individual course, or maybe a long mathematical proof, and also instructional videos made by other people. For example, Patrick JMT, Just Math Tutorials, who does math tutorials. So in kinematics, there are links to his videos on derivatives and antiderivatives, which makes more sense than me making another video on something that already exists. After I complete a video, I send it to Sarah, Dr. Reinstatter, and my friends who are into video production or physics or the ones who are taking first year physics now. They give me suggestions, help check for errors, and tell me if any parts are unclear or things they think I could improve. So then I go through the video, I fix any errors, I'll redo unclear sections or do new voiceovers for parts, and then publish the completed video. So here's a clip on the Doppler effect with an awesome sound effect. If Jeff listens to a sound while neither the source nor Jeff is moving, he hears the true pitch or frequency. If Jeff listens to the sound while the source moves away from him, the wave is more spread out and the pitch appears lower to Jeff than it really is. If the source moves towards Jeff, the opposite occurs, and the sound appears higher because the areas of expansion and compression are closer together. If Annie drives by Jeff on her motorcycle, 
The frequency perceived by Jeff is first increased as she moves towards Jeff, then decreased as she drives away. At the end of each video, we have a final slide that acknowledges McMaster University and funding and whatnot. And the entire process of making one of these videos takes about two weeks.